Hello and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. My name is Sean and tonight we will be tasting this bottle of Very Old Barton 100 Proof. I've talked about this bottle a lot in the past, so let's finally review it. So the current Barton Distillery has been sold many times and been under many different names over the years. Uh, but it actually started out as the Willett Distillery in 1879. Now it was renamed Barton again uh, in 2009 when the Sazerac Company bought it. However, it originally got the Barton name from a Mr. Gates, a German immigrant who purchased the distillery in the 1940s and then named it that. So my favorite story of how Barton Distillery got its name was Mr. Gates had his friends over for a poker game and he decided that because among the American people in the 1940s, Germans were not real popular for obvious reasons, like this guy. So he decided that the way he would choose a new name is in the poker game whoever won the next hand he would name his distillery after that man so it just so happened that a mr barton would be the one that would win that next hand and the rest is history now shortly after mr gitz renames the distillery barton he then starts making what would become very old barton whiskey very old barton 100 proof bourbon actually tied with Evan Williams Black Label in 2011 for the best buy whiskey of the year. So let's see if this bottle here is deserving of that award. Let's go ahead and pour us a little bit here. Now let's give this thing a spin and get into the smell. Or for you professionals out there, the nose of the whiskey. All right, so a lot of cinnamon. Uh, very similar nose to Wild Turkey. So if you saw that review, uh, getting a lot of the same uh, smells on the nose from is that. So you're getting cinnamon, but it, kind of like a Big Red Gum or a Red Hot's candy or the Fireball Jawbreaker candy. Uh, very similar to that. So kind of a candied cinnamon. And getting, getting some oak, just a hint of sour oak, but mainly more like the, the barrel char. And getting some vanillas, some brown sugars, and maybe like a, like a whipping cream. Hints of that in there as well. Yeah, so all in all, a nice nose for, for a budget whiskey. Let's get into the taste. So you're getting a lot of spice, not from the proof, but just from the flavors. You're getting the cinnamon, uh, kind of like a black pepper spice, um, other, other kind of baking spices on there. Uh, again, very reminiscent of, of like kind of a spicy fireball jawbreaker candy. Very, very similar to a wild turkey. Yeah, that, that is good. That is a nicely put together whiskey for the price that it's at. I believe this bottle was $21 when I purchased it, and this is the big bottle, the 1.75 liter. Um, so for that price, this is excellent. So I've talked about before, if, if you're new into the world of whiskey and you know you mainly go for the big labels, the ones that are very recognizable that you know, all your friends have talked about, then maybe you've overlooked this bottle in the past. Um, you know, maybe you're a person that just goes for Jack Daniels or a Jim Beam or a Maker's Mark or a Woodford. You know, those are all very popular. Or even the Evan Williams, another popular brand. But I think this one gets overlooked by most people just because they don't recognize the name. And I, I think that's unfortunate because for the for twenty one dollars, this is an excellent bottle of whiskey. Also, folks, uh, if you if you like what I'm doing, if you're enjoying the reviews that I've been doing then please uh, like and uh, comment, subscribe. That helps out the channel tremendously. I appreciate it a ton. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. And as always, just remember, 
you can never have too much good whiskey.